Zoho CRM tutorial for beginners how to use Zoho CRM. Hello guys, Ilya here and in this video I'm going to show you how can we use Zoho CRM for our business. Basically it's pretty easy, just follow these steps, I do to not make any mistakes. So the first step we need to do is just to simply visit this website zoho.com and as you can see we have a lot of different features provided by Zoho but what do we need today is just Zoho CRM. They also have mail and some other stuff but of course CRM is the main feature of this service so let's get started. In the top of the screen we have the option to free sign up so we just need to click on it and after that we can create our account using email and password. I will just sign up with Google because it's more suitable for me so all I need is just to like sign up with Google. After that you'll be like uh, asked about creating your data, entering your data, so all you need to do is just to enter the most suitable data as for you. So as I already said, we have like CRM here, mail, desk, assist, social creator, analytics and books, but today we are going to use like CRM convert leads and close sales deals faster, so assessed. This is our main page, basically we'll start from here, this is our home page as you can see. So here we have like open task, like calls, meetings, uh, deals and leads for today. And what is more important that in the top of the screen we have our main menu, we have home, leads, contacts, accounts, deals, tasks, meetings, calls, services, projects. And this one is pretty important, this more button provides us the opportunity to find reports, analytics, products, quotes, sales orders and so on. So as you can see there are a lot of models here which is pretty like important to know where they are. Uh, here we have our profile so if we'll click we can just change some information or just log out from here. Uh, let's start from leads page. It's the, this is the option of how can we add our leads. So while you're just going to this page we have two options here. We can create a lead or import lead. So if you have it like in a spreadsheet maybe in like Excel or some other stuff, you can just import them. But basically, if you click on create a lead, then we'll have the option to use it like this. So here we need to input the company and like the last name. Basically, if you have some other information about them, we can simply just input it. And then we just need to click on save. So after that, uh, these uh, leads, all of them will be like opened on this timetable. On this like spreadsheet and here as you can see we have like this opportunity to find it if we'll click on any lead we have we'll uh, like find all the information here we can like uh, click on overview or on the timeline and as you can see here is our all of our history so if you, if you like acted with this lead all the uh, like uh, spreadsheet data will be like informed here so I think it's pretty cool we have like some options here like notes, attachment, open activities, close activities or like invited meetings. So all the information we can find here. What is more important uh, that we can like use actions with a lot of our leads here. So in order to do this we need to click on action in the right top corner. And then as you can see we have like mass delete, mass update, mass convert, manage tools. So mass email, if we need to like send a lot of emails, we can simply just click on it right up here, create mass email, and after that just send these emails to like our customers, our leads. Uh, so basically that's all, we can also like filter leads by a lot of different uh, things, like attachment records, attachment records, logged, activities, notes, campaigns, annual revenue, city, company, a lot of uh, different stuff here so sometimes it could be really uh, helpful and you know uh, sometimes this search can help this like filter also we can change the view of our leads from like list view to kanban view or to canvas view so let's change it to like kanban and let's try to like figure it out uh, let's and add some data here recognized by of course let it be like lead source maybe aggregate and annual revenue. So just click on save and after that as you, as you can see they will be like uh, filtered like this if you will change. So we can also like go to contacts here. Uh, we have 
our contacts. We can create a new one in the like uh, right top corner. Or what do uh, we can do actually is just click on this toggle button and import contacts or input nodes. We can also do like uh, the same, you know, actions here like mass email, drafts, manage tags, updates, the same way basically. So we can contact them via email, for example. Um, the next step is like about accounts, pretty same, like we can create or input the, uh, different accounts. So let's click on create. And here we need to like import the account name. So let's it be like one, two, three, simply. And the it will look uh, like in the same view. So as you can see, like phone website options to add also filters. And uh, what is really important is that like deals here. So if you'll go to deals uh, folder, we can see like create a deal or import deals option. So we need to click on create a deal. And after that, we can add the most suitable information like deal name here, account name, type, expected revenue, lead source, contact name, like amount of dollars, closing date, the, the date we want to close, like our uh, deal, and uh, the stage basically, and probability, of course. So uh, I think this is like a really important uh, folder area here. In the task area, we can just already also click on create a task, add different tasks here and then just save. We can also view the information and some other stuff. In the meetings area, the navigation is quite the same. So we can create like meetings, add location, add the time, add the host related to and so on. Uh, what is really important that in this like uh, more button we have our reports and analytics so if we'll go to reports we can find all the reports here like report name description and folder for example uh, so from here we can use and just simply like use this information if you we'll go to analytics it's also like a important part here so here we can find all the analytics analytics of our CRM like uh, revenue target, lead generation target, revenue this month, deal in pipeline, accounts this month, leads this month, leads by source, last three months performance, Prologic sales, and so on basically. We can also like see lead analytics, like deals today and so on, deals created, uh, deals inside basically, like revenue this month, deals created, and so on. So honestly, if you're interested in some like direct uh, metrics, you need to go here and just to try to find it right up here while you will use it. And uh, what is uh, really like interesting that we have some other options. So if you're interested, you can just go here and try to use it. What about different plans? We can see that now we are like in a trial. So in order to use the Zoho for all, uh, we can find a lot of different like plans, six, like standard, professional, enterprise, ultimate, CRM plus and free. Uh, basically, there is some differences between them. And of course, you can just uh, recognize what do you need. So we can compare addition on detail here. And as you can see, there is like a lot of different deals. So leads, accounts, contacts. So we can compare it by these like uh, you know, description like calendar blocking, for example, recurring activities, reminders, social, social tab, scoring rules, like motiva motivator for Zoho CRM and so on. Basically, a lot, a lot of uh, different things we can compare these plans. Basically, to start, you can just use it for free. And if you'll decide that this is helpful for your business, you can continue to use it like on standard, professional, enterprise or ultimate mode. So why not? Uh, basically, that's all for this video. Hope this video helped you out. If it is, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. I wish you a very good day. Goodbye.